Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're tackling one of the hottest topics in AI fine tuning, retrieval augmented generation RAG and prompt tuning. These are powerful techniques for customizing and optimizing AI models. But how do you decide which one is the best for your use case? Don't worry, I've got you covered. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly when to use fine-tuning RAG or prompt tuning and also here I am going to show you how to fine-tune Microsoft recent released 5.4 for SQL syntax. We will push the fine-tuned model to hugging face and we will learn how to connect your local llama from Google Collab using NGORK. Let's dive in. Now, let's talk about fine-tuning RAG, prompt tuning on high level. This involves taking a pre-trained model and training it further on your specific dataset. Think of it as teaching an AI model new skills or making it an expert in a specific field. RAG combines an AI model with an external knowledge base. The model retrieves relevant information in real time and generates a response based on that data. It's like giving the AI a library card to access knowledge on demand. Prompt tuning doesn't involve modifying the model itself. Instead, you craft highly specific prompts or provide a set of examples that guide the model to deliver better outputs. It's lightweight and doesn't require retraining. Here is the OpenAI video which explains which option to pick based on your requirements. We think of it more like this. So there's kind of two axes you can optimize on. One of them is context optimization. So what does the model need to know to solve your, to solve your problem? The other is LM optimization. How does the model need to act? Like what's the method that it needs to carry out or what's the action that it needs to, to, to deliver to actually solve your problem? So a typical flow that you see is starting in the bottom left with prompt engineering. With prompt engineering, you can sort of do both. You just can't scale it that well. So prompt engineering is always the best place to start. You can test and learn very quickly. And the, the first thing you should do, start off with a prompt, get to an evaluation, figure out how you're going to consistently evaluate your outputs. And from there, you can then decide, is this a context problem? Or is this a kind of how we need the model to act problem? If you need more context or more relevant context, then you go up to retrieval augmented generation, or RAG. If you need more consistent instruction following, then you go right to fine tuning. And these two things stack together, they're additive. So sometimes your problem requires both. We're gonna give you examples of where folks have just used one or two and where folks have used all of them to solve their problems. So a typical optimization journey often looks a lot like this. So you start off in the bottom left corner. You've got a prompt, you create an evaluation, and then you figure out what your baseline is. Then, typically, simple next step, add few shot examples. So give the model a couple of input output examples of pairs that, uh, that, that of how you want the models to act. And let's say at this point, actually those few shot examples increase the performance quite a bit. So let's hook that up to some kind of like knowledge base that we can industrialize that process. And that's usually where folks will add some kind of retrieval augmented generation. Let's say that now, okay, it's, uh, it's now got context, but it's not producing the output in exactly the format or style that we want every time. So we might then fine tune a model. Then a classic next step is then maybe the retrieval is not quite as good as it might as you want it to be. Maybe that content could be more relevant to what the model needs. So you then go back and optimize the retrieval augmented generation again. And now that you've optimized the retrieval augmented generation again, you want to fine tune your model again with these new examples that you've introduced with your updated retrieval augmented generation. In this section, we will fine tune Microsoft 5.4 for SQL syntax using the PEFT LoRa fine tuning technique. The process is executed in Google Colab. First, we install the necessary libraries as shown on the screen. For this demonstration, we are using the BMC2 SQL Create Context Dataset, which includes question, answer, and context data. The dataset is processed using pandas to create a new data frame in the required format, as illustrated on the screen. Once processed, the fine-tuning process begins, and the trained model is saved as master, SQL, syntax, 5, 4. Later, we will push this model to Hugging Face as Microsoft, 5, 4, FT. We are leveraging 4-bit quantization bits and bytes config to optimize memory usage. The Microsoft. 5.4 model is loaded, and the training arguments are configured to suit our requirements, such as the number of training epochs. Finally, 
the LoRa configuration is set and the model is trained accordingly. In this section, we will demonstrate how to connect Google Colab to a Llama running on your local laptop using NGROC. We'll set up Ingrok on your laptop to create a secure tunnel exposing the Olama API to the internet through a map domain pointing to your Olama API port. To start the tunnel from your laptop, run the command shown in the domain creation Grok page. This will expose your local Olama to internet so that you can use it from any place. We will test the connectivity from Google Colab to your Olama setup by copying the Ingrok endpoint and updating the Olama server URL. Once updated, run the code to check the response and confirm the connectivity. For specific use cases, refer to the Olama API documentation linked in the description section. And there you have it, three powerful techniques to take your AI models to the next level. Whether it's fine-tuning, RAG, or prompt tuning, each has its unique strengths. Also, you have learned how to connect to your Olama from internet. Let me know in the comments which one you are excited to try. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more AI tips and tutorials. See you in the next video. And there you have it. Three powerful techniques to take your AI models to the next level. Whether it's fine-tuning, RAG, or prompt tuning, each has its unique strengths. Also, you have learned how to connect to your Olama from internet. Let me know in the comments which one you are excited to try. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more AI tips and tutorials. See you in the next video.